A large vigil is being held outside of Notre Dame as the French president vows to rebuild the fire-ravaged Gothic cathedral within the next five years. Images from inside the church show a gaping hole in the roof, but the altar is mostly intact. Across the world this evening, events are being held to show solidarity with the people of France. And tonight, One World Trade Center will light up blue, white, and red, the colors of the French flag. WBZ's Gary Broad is in Boston, where Cardinal Sean O'Malley addressed the devastating fire. Gary? Oh, good evening, Liam and Paula. Yeah, earlier today we talked to the Cardinal and he expressed his deepest sadness of the events that transpired yesterday in Paris, but he also thanked God that most of that iconic building could be salvaged. As the Notre Dame Cathedral burned thousands of miles away in Paris, many here at home watched in sorrow the flames engulfing what we call the city of lights. It was lit in the worst way ever yesterday. And you feel helpless. After a special mass in Boston, Cardinal Sean O'Malley spoke about the burning of this old and holy building. I mean, it was horrifying, and uh, I'm glad that they were able to save as much as they, as they were because I thought that they would lose the entire structure. Uh, for more than 800 years, the cathedral stood not only as a place of worship, but also as one of France's finest architectural buildings, receiving more than 13 million visitors each year. I mean, everybody knows Notre Dame. If you think about Paris or about France, and you think about an iconic symbol, you will either say, oh, the Eiffel Tower or Notre Dame de Paris. After seeing the disturbing images, the Cardinal says he's grateful for the recent renovations to the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. These old churches, if, if you don't restore them and keep, keep them up, eventually you'll lose them. So we were very, very grateful that we were able to do this restoration at this point uh, after 150 years. And Cardinal O'Malley says he plans on reaching out to the Archbishop in Paris sometime soon to offer his support during this very difficult time. And the French consulate here in Boston also says they were grateful and blown away by the amount of support and sympathy that came in during these troubled times. Live in Boston, Gary Broad, WBC News.